let you in on an aspect of the world that you're uh, not normally accustomed to. I could have been a totally different person. Yeah, right now. Since 12 hours ago. Could have been wearing a business suit today. Who knows? <laughs> With a fanny pack. With a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Just classing up the joint. That's a fantastic idea. It's the only kind of ideas I have, sir. <laughs> it's Corner House Chronicles Day. It's just different enough. And here's the kicker, boss. They're all the same personality. <laughs> <laughs> They're assholes. Yeah. yeah. Just, just 1.5 million <laughs> asshole penguins. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh at him. No, hell no. He'll no. kill you with his pinky. <laughs> he's got to have some Jedi powers or something if he's... Best part. I'm going to try and pace it out. So just as you forget about me, I'll just pop in and remind you. But how could you forget about us? How we all doing today? This is Jason. And John. It's good to hear you. Good to see you. Oh, wait, we can't do either. No. No. It's good for you to hear us. There you go. That's better. Because it's Saturday. Indeed. And it's 10 p.m. here in Michigan. So we're sitting down. We're going to discuss uh, quite a weekend. Indeed. It was uh, eventful. Yeah. We had some show topics lined up, but then... They had to get bumped, yeah, unfortunately. Some, some things had to go for because we got There's some, some topics we need to discuss uh, with you all. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, first and foremost on the docket, happy St. Patrick's Day. March 17th. To all of you Irish and pretending to be Irish for Everyone's today. Irish on St. Patty's Day. Absolutely. We're good with it. But yeah. Hopefully you had a good time. Nothing, safe. Yeah, safe. Safe is important. Hopefully everybody got home safely. No tickets. No, no fights. DUIs, no fights. If you did yeah. fight, hopefully you won. Right. <laughs> like, hopefully you weren't a giant asshole. And, and if you were, maybe you deserved it. Yeah. We'll hope for the best for you. You can always get better. I did not get into a fight. Nor did I. So it was a good day. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard when we're sitting here. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's still early, though. I mean, the yeah. show, who knows? Surprise, surprise endings. It is still early. But hopefully, with the help of uh, Uncle Steve's traditional Irish-style stout from Shorts Brew, the night will be good. I agree. It's not that bad. I was just thinking, like, how often do we drink Shorts or Bells? They're leading the league right now. Yeah, quite a bit. But I didn't see any real, like, other Irish beers. Yeah. You know, anything that jumped out at me. I mean, when you see a picture of this six-pack, it's like, it screams St. Patrick's Day, so. There's a roughly painted leprechaun on the box riding a cat. It looks like a panther. It could be a panther. Or a cougar, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> Sex panther. 100% of the time, it works 20% of the time. Yeah. Could be Steve's panther. Who knows? It could be anything. It's anything it, you want. It's St. Patrick's Day. The tail looks incredibly odd. <laughs> and maybe it's just me, but no. it looks weird. I would agree. Like the cat almost looks Halloweenish. I don't see why he's riding it, but you know what? It's Uncle Steve, so he can do what he wants. Yeah, I'm sure he's done weirder shit. <laughs> you know, especially on St. Patrick's Day. I, you know, I don't know if I told you this. Last year on St. Patrick's Day, we went up mm-hmm. to uh, the local Irish pub to okay. uh, see my brother's band play, and uh, it was me and my dad. We we get dropped off here. And uh, as we pulled up in the car, I look across the street there to my neighbor's house, and I'm like, man, this looks like he's barbecue grills a little. The flame's kind of big. It's late at night, you know. There's yeah. snow on the ground. We realized it was his garbage can. On fire? Yeah, he had a gender reveal out here in the field across the street from the house with fireworks. All right. Because they were pregnant, you know, yeah. and this is how they celebrate it. One of the fireworks wasn't completely out. Oh. And they just threw them all in his garbage can and went in the house. So we pull Shit. up and we run across him. I pulled his garbage can away from his garage because mm. it was right up against it, you know. And smart. So my dad's throwing snow on the garbage can, and I go up and bang on the door. And one of his buddies, because there was a party going on, they had the gender reveal. Yeah, he opens the door like, "What? Who the hell are you?" And I'm like, "His garbage can's on fire." So we get the hose out and make sure it was all. There was actually a package in there. That he didn't light. Oh, more fireworks? There was more loaded fireworks underneath the Ooh, fire. That could be horrible. <laughs> right. And like I said, it was up against his garage, and there's like an awning on oh, his garage. So they would have shot straight, straight up, up or out the hole that had been burnt inside the garbage can. And who knows what uh, direction yeah. they would have shot off in. And Holy it was the kind shit. that, you know, they go up. 
Oh, yeah. Big boom. <laughs> Explode. Yeah. So, luckily, and that night, too, when we were at the bar watching, I saw a fight. So, that was cool. Well, it's St. Patrick's Day. It was a father-son team taking on six bouncers, and they lost. Surprising. <laughs> you would think that the six bouncers were at the disadvantage of the family right. tie. The six <laughs> giant sober bouncers <laughs> <laughs> against the father-son drunk duo of the yeah. year. We got this boy. You yeah. take four of them, I'll only take two. <laughs> the funny part was, the, the, like, they would calm the sun down, and the other bouncers would, like, slam his dad to the ground so he'd get all fired up and go charging across. That's my dad! So they'd get the dad up and calm him down for him to see the son getting slammed, slammed back on the other side. poor time. <laughs> oh, man, it was horrible. And then when they finally broke it up, the father was like, go get the owner, I know the owner. And the owner was standing next to him. <laughs> and he was like, you gotta go. <laughs> so they walked him down the block, you know. It was so funny. I just stood there. Yeah, everybody got their phones out and shit. I just, you know, I just stood back and watched, you know. People are like, what are they fighting for? I'm like, it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Come on. We're at the bar, you know. So this one time on St. Patrick's Day, me and my dad got in a fight with six bouncers. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, that didn't. But that's a good story for him. I mean, they were probably back in there the next day, you know. If they legitimately knew the owner. You're right. Like, sorry, man. Our bad, bro. I don't think I've had any other really crazy St. Patrick's Day, you know, happenings to me. I don't really go out too much on this day. I try to avoid it. Right. Like, I have some fun bar stories, but not on St. Patrick's Day. There's just too many people. Did you live out west on a St. Patrick's Day? You you were out there for yeah, a couple of years or something, right? Out in California and yeah. in Arizona. How was um, it out there? Was it any different? Or uh, California is a little different. Yeah, only because on major drinking holidays they have checkpoints everywhere. Like so, if you're oh, driving, really? yeah, at made bigger intersections in certain cities. Mm -hmm. So if you're driving home, you're like, "Whoa, why is there so much traffic?" There's just like eight cops posted up at an intersection. They're like, "Hey, how's it going? Where are you coming from?" Yeah, see your license. See, if, you know, give wow. you a quick like couple questions to see how quick you are, just to make sure you're not hammered. Yeah. You know. So, I'm sure they get a whiff of alcohol. They can, you know. Yeah. What'd you pull over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Arizona wasn't that bad. The city I lived in, <laughs> it was mainly Mormon people. Uh -oh. So every night, like Saturday, 10 o'clock, ghost town. Really? The gas stations and certain fast food were open and that. but That's it, huh? Yeah. So if you did go to a bar, you were probably the only one in there. Very few. <laughs> you and the owner? <laughs> He's like, I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> I did uh, went in there for Halloween, me and my buddy. Just, yeah, let's go out for a minute. They had uh, costume karaoke. Oh. We didn't stay to see who the winner was. There wasn't too many people in there. But I would have voted for this one couple. They were a larger couple. Um, the gentleman was dressed up like sloth. He had the Superman shirt, the red oh, suspenders, sweet. and the pirate hat. Nice. <laughs> what was the woman? She was dressed like junk. <laughs> <laughs> she had the short curly hair. She was wearing the Hawaiian shirt. Had the raincoat over it. That's cool. Yeah. And they were singing every time they I think they sang like three songs and like multiple times throughout. The guy just be like love love junk. <laughs> that was a good time. Hopefully they won. I hope so. <laughs> in my mind, they did. They're yeah, all, right. You're the winners. You walked away from that night yeah. with them being the winners because they're the only ones that stuck out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. Oh, I, mean, I mean, shit. That, good for them. They yeah. fucking owned it. It was great. Uh, then years ago, when I was visiting, it wasn't, I think it was in the summertime, went to this one bar in uh, Phoenix. And as we were leaving, like these bouncers come crashing through the door and we turn around and look and there's a line to people to get in mm -hmm. and those uh three bouncers on three guys the three guys had no chance big <laughs> fucking football player dudes right and drunk overweight white guys <laughs> 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 and this one dude had one in a headlock the guy starts swinging hitting him in like the thigh but nothing mm -hmm. that would leave a bruise <laughs> and the other two were on the ground and the guy's on there and he's looking around he's like <sighs> Like he's looking for a cop or another bouncer to come help him Somebody to like to take over because he was like, I'm done with this. Yeah. Right. And all of a sudden, out of like the crowd the splits and a cop on a horseback comes walking up. <laughs> <laughs> the bouncer's like, Yeah, this guy, da 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 da. The cop's like, I got him. He hops down, cuffs him, and goes like, blah, 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 blah. And he looks at the bouncer, he's like, Here, hold him for a minute. Bouncer's holding him for a second. He hops back on the horse, 
reaches down and grabs the handcuffs that are behind the guy's back and lifts straight up. Oh. So the guy's bent over with his arms backwards, like oh. straight up, and he starts trotting away. And the guy's like, hey, you can't do this. Oh. Yeah, the horse is going to kick me. Blah. Just yelling random shit. I bet his wrists hurt oh. so bad. Mm. It was interesting to see. <laughs> right. Next he time, only, don't fight the bouncer. He pretty much walked into the street, and a cop car pulled up and took him. Oh, okay. So it wasn't too Kind of for show a little bit. Like, I'm the cop on the horse. Yeah. I'm going to. This is for everyone else. Don't Lone fuck around. Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet, though. Cops on horseback are cool. Cops on bikes are not cool, though. No? Unfortunately. Like bicycle bikes? Yeah. Like, <laughs> got their 10 speed, little flashers, <laughs> little bell. It's like, oh, look at you. You look very authoritative. I'm scared. And then the horse comes up. You're like, yes, sir. How you doing on the horse up there? Uh, yeah, right. The horse will do some damage. The bike <laughs> cop, no, you know, whatever. Every time I see a bike cop, I think of that movie Men in Work, Men at Work, uh, with Charlie Sheen and <laughs> Emilio Estevez. Estevez. Yeah, his trash guys. Yep. Which didn't make our bracket, unfortunately. Surprise! It was on the list. It was. It was part of the master <laughs> list for sure. The bracket has been very surprising. Yeah, we're getting a lot of action on it. So, like. Better than I thought. Yeah. And we'd like to thank the listener for that and the people that are voting. Yeah. Keep it up. We got more coming. Yeah, it's going to go on for a little bit longer for sure. Um, those of you listening that aren't voting, if you'd like to vote, we're posting it. All of the matchups are on our Facebook page, mm-hmm. and you can be a part of selecting the winner. All you got to do is just go over there. and It's uh, www.facebook.com slash Cornerhouse Chronicles. You can check out the previous ended polls. Yeah, we got a couple that have finished. This is true. A couple that uh, ended up here. We uh, In our Monroe bracket, we had The Hangover, Took Out Meet the Parents. I picked that for my bracket. I did, too. I was confident. It seemed like a no-brainer to me. It ended up being 22 to 11. So it was, a, you know. Apparently everyone else felt the same. Right. The double. The double up on votes there. Uh, we also had uh, Step Brothers just crushed What About Bob. <laughs> Unfortunately, thirty-one to eight. Well, I was glad I voted for Step Brothers. Me too. What about Bob? Should I thought it got a bad draw. It did. It did get a bad draw. It did. If it would have got stuck up against one of these other movies, it might have fared a little better in round one. But hey, you know, them's the breaks. That's why we leave it up to the votes. Democracy. (laughs) We also had uh, Ted beat Bad Santa, barely officially. Yeah, twenty to thirteen. It was remotely close. Um. But I picked Ted, so I kind of thought that too. was going to happen. Yeah. The uh, one surprise for me and you yeah. uh, in a first-round win was uh, our Telegraph bracket. We had uh, get him to the Greek against waiting and waiting. Yeah, waiting took it. We both projected that get him to the Greek was going to go on. Oh, I had him going to Sweet 16. I think I it's a too. hilarious movie. Oh, it's great. Pet, and uh, Just pet the fuzzy wall. Yeah. <laughs> But you Waiting know, is a solid movie. It is. It is. But. And 20 votes to 12 votes said that Waiting is moving on to the second round. And we can actually go ahead and report that the 1 through 16 in the same bracket is uh, the movie I Spy against the Cable Guy. Yeah. And this that, one's a blowout. That was a bad matchup. Right. It's still yeah. got a couple of days. By the time you're hearing this, It'll it's be over. A, yeah. But, yeah, we can As tell As we're you. talking about it, there's still time on it. But yeah. uh, I Spy has a vote. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the cable guy just ran away with that one. Oh, yeah. So we will have a second round matchup of the cable guy versus waiting when we get to the second round. That should be a good one. I think so. <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb and say waiting will probably win. But, you know. Owen Wilson but, does not have a good track record. He doesn't, on man. This, uh, bracket. <laughs> yeah, we just did the six degrees in our <laughs> bracket, right? So uh, he Owen Wilson stars in I Spy. Mm. It's losing to the cable guy. And in the movie The Cable Guy, Jim Carrey beats the shit out of Owen Wilson <laughs> in a bathroom scene. So it's pretty good. And then what was the other one we said? Uh, oh, now I'm blanking. Oh, Hall Pass, Hall pass. against uh, Jay and Son Bob Strike Back. And so far, Jay and Son Bob Strike Back are a little bit ahead. I think they'll secure it. They're probably yeah. going to win, yeah, for sure. But again, thank you to all of you listening and participating. We appreciate it. If uh, if you do listen and you see you're following our Facebook page, please share them. Yeah, share them with your friends. See if your friends want to get in on this. It's yeah. just a good time. Because um, we're gonna do more brackets when this one ends. We're already in the. We're works. coming up with ideas. Yeah, we're in the works for the second one. Because like I said before, I'm a bracket sucker. So if I can keep <laughs> doing it and you'll keep voting with me, hey man, it, it's fun for me. Oh yeah. 
So it's interesting to see because like our projections, and then we put the vote out, and everyone's like, "Yeah, this movie's way better." And like, mm-hmm. come on, <laughs> really? The one that went up tonight, at, right before we started recording, was uh, the two fifteen in the Robert bracket, and it's the movie PCU mm-hmm. against My Cousin Vinny. That's a tough one. It, I love PCU. I do too. It's a great movie. I love My Cousin Vinny. I voted for PCU. I voted for PCU, but I don't think it's coming out. I don't know. My cousin Vinny, Vinny is a tough one to go against. Yep, and the their whoever wins that will go up against Semi Pro or Daddy's Home, which True. is also active right now. It'll be ending by the time you hear this. Mm-hmm. I think Daddy's Home is ahead. Yep, a little right. bit. That was a close one as well, so far. Yeah, so brackets are cool, man. Yeah, it's fun. It's interesting, say. and it's March Madness. Right? It's Mm -hmm. March. It's St. Patrick's Day. You pointed out this is episode 17, and we're recording it on the 17th. Of March. That's so cool. I like like when things like that happen. It was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Just like that new intro. That was meant to be. How do you guys feel about that? I enjoy it. Yeah, I I think think it's pretty cool. I'd like to thank John (laughs) for uh, putting that together. Yeah, pieced it together a little bit. I'd like to thank Chris for uh, supplying the acoustic guitar yes chris thank you Mm -hmm. we're uh i want to get you in here and do another one just so we got more more things to choose from you know just we're still in the early stages of our show as far as um repetition and stuff we've changed our intro a couple times we've had a couple shows with no intro so straight into it yeah let's just keep bouncing around see what people like feels right Mm. what you guys are more receptive to yeah because we're here for you all the time we talk all the time me and you oh yeah it's only like this that we put stuff on <laughs> on the old interweb for you know, this is a once a week thing that we actually pop out but there's conversations that go yeah. on throughout the week like hey look at this book <laughs> <laughs> yes we do for instance uh we went out last night <clears throat> yes last night was so much fun <clears throat> and so odd there was a lot of weird stuff and then there was just like oh that's cool this is entertaining and fun and then it's just like holy shit yeah that's happening right in front of my eyes (laughs) i am here for this (laughs) i get to witness it so uh we went out to the token lounge out in westland michigan uh for a comedy show i gotta tell you i ain't been in that bar in probably 13 14 years it's been a long time for me too i think the last time i was there i went to see you guys play Oh, well, shit, that was 19 years ago. (laughs) Yeah, the place looks good. Yeah, I liked it. I like the way he's uh, transformed the inside of the bar. For those of you obviously not around here Mm -hmm. in our area, it's just a local local spot, nothing too major. No. You know, smaller joint, but a couple hundred people. Yeah. Uh, How how many people would you guess was there last night? Ooh. Um, 100? Say 120. 125, something like that. We uh, we bought our tickets online early because I thought it was going to sell out because of who the headliner was. Yeah, they looked pretty close, too. The star. I don't want to laugh too much, but yeah. It looked pretty full. I'm not going to lie. There wasn't a whole lot of empty seats. No. There was like four by us. Yeah. But we were off in a corner. I would say probably after about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, it started to thin itself out a little bit, you know. <clears throat> but the show was almost over anyway, so true. Uh, yeah, so last night we we'll go ahead and yeah, let's well end first the we say who the uh, MC was. The MC was our buddy, yeah, friend of the family, friend of the show, Mister Tony Vasic. Very funny guy, very funny friend. We've known this guy a long, long time, time, and uh, he recently got into stand up comedy. About I think it's been about a year now. I would say just maybe. a little more than a year, a maybe year or two. Yeah, and uh, he's worked his way up to hosting shows. He does his own bits, and uh, he does sets other places, but mm-hmm. when he gets to host, it's pretty cool. It's fun. You, know, you get a little bit of everything. So shout out to Tony. We were going to try. I tried so hard to get him in here before the show to yeah. promote it, but it just didn't work out. Scheduling. <clears throat> so He's a busy dude. Yeah. We're definitely going to have him in now after the show from last night, and then he can you know promote oh, yeah. what's coming for him in the future. But the headliner. The Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it, but I don't know no, how no, it'll no. come out. <clears throat> this is a uh, legend. 
be fair to say. In many fields. In many fields. And he's uh, an actor. Distinguished. Distinguished actor. Dare say award winning. <laughs> um, he's been a rapper. Really? Yeah. He I did a, not know he, that. He threw out a couple songs. <clears throat> Mid to late 90s, I think? Or early 2000s. I'd have to go back and check it out. But yeah. To get my facts straight, right. I don't want to be fake news here. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's now in the world of comedy. Yep. He's also a scholar, right? He is. I, that was part of the uh, Q&A section at the end of the show. He mentioned that he had two bachelor degrees and a master's in teaching for uh, early education uh, with uh, mental disability children. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. From New York. Go ahead and end that suspense. Pull that Band-Aid off. Tell the people who it was. <laughs> yeah. The legend we are discussing, the headline of the show, is none other than Ron Jeremy. Mm. The Hedgehog. Huh? And I got to tell you, folks, he was pretty funny. He was pretty funny. I agree. I uh, I enjoyed his little... He They started the show with him. Yeah. Which was which I found odd, but it made sense. Yeah, he came back out a couple times. Because he came back out at the end and did the uh, Q&A with the crowd, which was full of questions you'd expect people to the ask standard, somebody yeah. of Ron Jeremy. Standard drunk <laughs> men and women. Nah, come on, tell us. <laughs> right. He had some good stories, though. And he some did. good jokes. <clears throat> he had some pretty cool stories. It was it was kind of weird to see, like hear him name names that he knows that he yeah. knows personally in the in the industry that we've all well most of us I don't want to say all because <laughs> I guess there's a chance some of you people might not be into uh, who he is. True things he's done. He wasn't Boondock Saints though, it, which I mean that come on. It was a great role. I was gonna bring it up to him, but. I didn't want to cross any lines. You know, I don't know how he feels about that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably wants to talk about certain things that he he's very well uh, versed knowledge in. Yeah. You know, yeah, like the porn industry, <laughs> for instance. Right. <clears throat> but uh, he had some funny jokes. He had a lot of older jokes. Uh, some of them, you're like, yeah, I've heard that one before. Right. Right. But he put forth an effort, and he was entertaining. And the fact that it was Ron Jeremy, it's Ron you know, Jeremy. literally right in front of us, yeah. doing his thing. And then he well, walked right by. Like yeah. It was no big deal. <laughs> well, he did other things, too, didn't he? Uh, he was, I, <laughs> I saw him making out with quite a few women. Mm-hmm. Like, they would literally come up and tap him on the shoulder, Ron, can I have a kiss? And he would mm-hmm. just, like, throw his tongue As right down boyfriends there. Boyfriends or husbands <laughs> or something. You know, yes, they took pictures. Like, taking oh, pictures, yeah, this is she's awesome. She's making out with Ron Jeremy. Right. Um... <laughs> My picture wasn't quite like that. No, no, he no. he kind of caught me off guard as I was handing the phone off to take the picture. He had already tugged his arm around the wife and mm-hmm. laid a nice kiss on her cheek, and so I photo bombed our own picture because I was like, I don't know what to do here. Oh, it was a gem too, folks. <laughs> it was like it came out well. Yeah, I didn't know how to react to the whole thing, so I'm just like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Get mad at Ron Jeremy? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see him. He was signing the T-shirt at the bar, and a woman come up and reached around and got two handfuls of his business. Oh wow! And he didn't stop, flinch, not, like he just kept right on, like it wasn't <laughs> happening. You know, <laughs> like another day at the office. How many times has this happened to this dude? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. I'm just standing at the bar watching him do his thing. You know, and he had uh, another guy that was there with him. You know, kind of helping yeah, him out. On like, all right, it's time to go to the back because. it's... When he played his harmonica, <laughs> that was silly. It was. Ron Jeremy's a silly dude. It was entertaining. Yeah, it was cool, man. I'm glad we went. I you did, know, yeah. it was a good time. He's been here plenty of times, and he's done that. You know, oh, really? like he does this once a year, once every couple of years. He goes out on tour and hits these little spots and cities that have been good to him. And oh yeah, I've seen his name. The place we went, the Token Lounge, next month they got Dustin Diamond. The guy oh really? That Screech? Screech on Saved by the Bell. He's oh. doing the same thing, but it's on a Thursday night. That's the only downfall. I don't know if I'd go see him. Really? I might. Who knows? It's Screech. Yeah, but he went to jail for stabbing a dude. I don't know if it was at one of the shows or where it was, but yeah, maybe the guy deserved it. That, I don't know the <laughs> the circumstance, but yeah, didn't Screech like make a porn? Yeah, he did. Peeing on somebody, or he got he peed did on something. Or something. It was for uh, he wanted to. Make money weird. so he could uh, pay off the mortgage because they were going to repo his house. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Don't oh, know how Screech. that worked out, but good for him. I, he's obviously doing well enough to be out on tour doing some stand-up, so hopefully he ends up being pretty funny. I'll tell you, our friend Tony, his set, 
Oh, he was funny. He was pretty funny, man. He, he only came out like in between everyone else. And yeah. He was getting laughs. Yeah, he had that first little bit where he did a couple of jokes <laughs> and then started handing the mic off. <laughs> did you want to uh, out around Jeremy's joke about the pizza box? Oh, what was it? I don't even remember what it was. Go If you remember it, say it. I can't remember right now. It was uh, what do a pizza delivery guy and a uh, gynecologist have in common? Uh, what was the punchline? I'd... Go ahead. They're both close enough to smell the box, but they're you know, <laughs> not allowed to eat it. <laughs> uh, the it's... joke is funnier with a couple beers and Ron right, Jeremy. Right, when Ron Jeremy's telling it, yeah. yeah. In a room full of people, <laughs> it erupts into laughter, you know. <laughs> but after Ron and after Tony... We were uh, introduced into a local comedian yeah. who's done some national TV work. He's been on Comedy Central, we found out. Uh, one of Mike Hart's specials. Was it? I think it was Mike Hart. Or was it Chris Rocks? I think it was Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart? Yeah. What did I say, Mike Hart? Yeah, he played for Michigan. He did play He for was Michigan. a running back. It was one of Kevin Hart's specials. Yeah. Something in oh, the I city. Think. Something I can't remember. I don't watch a lot of Comedy TV, Central. Yeah. It's usually just South Park and that's, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But uh, this guy's name is uh, Michael Jeter, yeah, and it, his last name is spelled G E E T E R, and uh, he was hilarious. Oh, man. he killed it. He had a good fifteen minutes, and it was solid laughs. <laughs> he started with a fucking amazing joke. Yeah, to lead your set off with that <laughs> joke was great, man. That caught me off guard, oh. and I, I was laughing the whole set just from that one joke. You know, oh, he was entertaining. He, he, it was his show. Oh yeah, he, he definitely. And the downfall we ended up finding out later last night was that he had another show to do mm-hmm. in a different city, so he had to take off right after the yeah, his right after he got off stage you know. and they announced the next guy. Right, he was walking through the crowd to leave. He was gone, um, but I definitely want to find out when he's performing locally and go see oh, him again. I'll go again. see him again, definitely. Yeah, very funny guy. Yeah, Michael Jeter, <laughs> check him out. <laughs> he's oh. good. It was good stuff. I don't go out to comedy clubs a lot. No. You know, so when you get to go, and it's not really a comedy club, but it's comedy night, and just be a part of that atmosphere and stuff. But the Q&A with uh, Ron Jeremy Jeremy. was, uh, like, when he did the how big is it, (laughs) (laughs) he actually instructed the crowd to yell how big is it, you know? All right. It's so big. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But by that time in the night, uh, there were a lot of, the patrons were quite inebriated. Yeah, there was some booze flying around yeah. for sure. So someone would ask a legitimate question, and he'd be like, oh, well, back in this, I was in New York, doing blah, 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 and you hear someone in the crowd like, hey, <laughs> hey, do you remember making that movie? <laughs> <laughs> People were yelling a lot of shit at him, oh, yeah. for sure. He handled it well. He was very composed. Like, he, fuck it. Yeah, I just wondered, like, somebody... Of Ron Jeremy's stature, mm. right, and the things he's done in this world in his one go round, mm. were we just blurry faces in the crowd? Just you know something what I mean? to do, yeah. Like, like, like just, how we would... went to go see him. Was it just something like, yeah, I guess I'll go out Tuesday? And he, it's, it's just like we were just another face. He's yeah. done this so many times. As he was up there, a uh, lady from England called him on his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Oh, check this out. This is how technology." No. Tech savvy I am, and he whipped out a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> he answered the phone. He's like, "Hi, no, no, I'm doing a comedy show right now." No, no, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple all right comedians there last night too. Like some of the other people, I there were some uh, local guys that were pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. they they had a couple of good jokes, but you could tell, you know, they after were very early in their. Uh, career i would assume yeah and after you follow ron jeremy and then that michael, michael jeter, jeter yeah and tony basic for that matter because tony yeah i would put him right below uh mr jeter yeah in the sense of who got the most laughs yeah right he was above ron him. jeremy oh yeah <laughs> and he was only out in between like announcing everyone he'd have like two three minutes like oh yeah so tell a couple of jokes, jokes introduce the next one. Oh, he did great yeah we'll have to uh like i said we'll get him in here one night and uh, he'll tell some of his jokes, you know. <laughs> he had a couple of good ones about a year ago when he first started. Yeah. I remember going to one of his early open mic nights, and he had this one joke, and I swear it brought tears to my eyes. I laughed so I think I was the only person in the place laughing at the joke, but I found it so funny. 
I told him, I'm like, bro, you got to keep that. And, nope. Didn't make it. Nope. Because he took some classes. Mm-hmm. You know, he went and figured out the game. and He's, he's really applying himself to it, which yeah. is sweet, man. He was talking about a big show he has coming up. So definitely like to get him in before mm-hmm. that so he can promote it. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, doing big things, man. It takes a lot of stones to get up there and tell jokes. Yeah, it does. I don't know that I could do it. To a giant crowd of people who've been drinking. Right. And you don't know how that joke's going to fly. I noticed last night there weren't any... Um, Hecklers? Yeah, nobody really heckled. No, the crowd was pretty uh, well-behaved. Yeah. Which I'm not, I'm not a big fan of heckling, but I think if the comic opens up to a heckler mm. and then the heckler is funnier <laughs> yeah you're you're risking quite a bit right that kind of shit i laugh at like he got you dude <laughs> you're the one with the mic and he got you he's sitting in the crowd you know but then i start thinking how much did the comic drink tonight true maybe the the drunk guy in the crowd yelling shit's just a little more liquid creative yeah in the moment and he's not entertaining a crowd full yeah. of people he's just he's attacking not trying to one person go through a routine that he's memorized and yeah yeah messing up the timing and that that's the other thing, them early mic nights that I would go to when Tony was on, like the comic would go up there with the notebook, mm. you know, and, and hold it and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, you can tell you're like stage one, you yeah. know, but still more props to you. Oh, yeah, you're getting up there. <laughs> I'm out here in the crowd <laughs> shy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know that we could do this show if there was 13 people sitting in the garage staring at us right now. <laughs> oh, I think we could. Depends on how quiet they were. I mean, they started heckling us. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> If we got heckled on our own podcast, you know. Get out of the studio, Rick. <laughs> You're being an asshole. <laughs> You've clearly drank too much. Yeah. You are cut off, sir. And then he tells me it's his beer and it's sitting outside the garage anyways. Son of a bitch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking about, like, hey, what if we do have people in? Like a live studio audience? Yeah. Should we encourage heckling? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, oh, yeah, so today we read about this, but, uh, fuck you. <laughs> like, God, shut that up. That shit is boring. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it would be troublesome for the listener. Oh, yeah. Because I don't just think be... the mics would pick up what they're saying and they'd just hear us reacting to it. Yeah, unless we just put one mic in front of the crowd to where it just picks <laughs> yeah, up think, all of them. I think then it would encourage them to say <laughs> shit. <Yeah>, probably. <laughs> well, if we're encouraging heckling, we might as well get them on tape doing it. <laughs> Start their own podcast, do better than us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we launched this bracket idea on our podcast after 16 15 episodes, whatever it is, mm-hmm. less than six months. And when I use the word launch, I use it very, very specifically <laughs> because it's one more launch than Mr. Mad Mike Hughes. Oh. Now, we can go back to January of 2014 and look at all the launches he had before. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't know about Mad Mike Hughes then. This is true. We found out about him in November. November. Yeah. And he talked a big talk. His launch is as, is as old as our show. This is true. So I, I think it's one nothing us. I would agree. <laughs> I think we're beating Mad Mike Hughes. So what's up, Mike? <laughs> Are you going to launch that, light Fucking that rocket, candle or whatever, know. dude? Come on, man. Keep teasing it. What did, What was his last post? March 24th? March 24th. All right. Yep. All right. I'm almost to the point where I want to pay the five bucks. For See, noise TV, I'm I'm not because I'm uh, pretty confident that it's going to get canceled again, postponed. <laughs> we'll say postponed, postponed, not canceled. More <laughs> more technical, technical difficulties. Yeah. like the weather wasn't right in Southern California. It was the wrong actuator, something mm-hmm. like that. The piston dangler popped, and you just couldn't <laughs> go. <laughs> you got one of those, Mike? <laughs> Is there a piston dangler in that rocket? Is that what's holding you up? Poor guy. What's up, dude? Uh, what do we need for Steam? We need to raise some money just to get you to launch in order to, for you to raise money. <laughs> to do another launch, to raise money. <laughs> right. We uh, we had a brief interaction with Mr. Mad Mike Hughes on uh, the Facebook. When yeah, he, he engaged us. He did. Uh, <laughs> Whether he knew he was engaging us 
the Corner no. House Chronicle show that has been talking about him since November. I don't know if he knows. Probably not. It could have just he been might. two people because we, we were commenting we on were, his shit, yeah. you know. Which I kind of feel like we should have started commenting as the show, but maybe next time. If there the is night a, is young. The <laughs> night is young, and uh, we're only a few beers in, so. <laughs> Uncle Steve's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's egging me on. Mm-hmm. But uh, he was proudly boasting that he got the new, uh, what was it, Seals? Something for his, the compression department or something? Yeah. The O-rings the or O-rings some crazy and, shit? I don't know. And uh, the first comment was my wonderful co-host here tagging me in it. Second comment was me saying, like, oh, I can't wait to see why this is going to get postponed again. And he responded to that. I guess he took offense. I'm going to tell you right now, I was so excited to see him respond to it. You know what I mean? I was, too. At that exact moment, I was like, bro, sitting in California, mm-hmm. and he's talking to us on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> where he then encouraged me to check out his previous launch in 2014, where he went 1,300 and some odd feet. Which you had already... Yeah, I looked him up. ...known I, about this. Yeah, like, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't a big thing. Um, so you just was, immediately started poking holes in his theories again, and his story and just, yeah. you know, giving it... We were trolling him. Let's be, let's let's be, be honest. honest. We were trolling we him, We weren't Mike. being rude. We no. were inquisitive. No, no, no. So I asked him what that launch had to do with this little uh, scheme of his to prove that the earth was flat. His ruse. <laughs> Where he responded that this is not about proving the world or the earth is flat, even though his rocket says flat earth. Right. Um, <laughs> this is all about making money to eventually get to a space launch. To prove the, 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 the earth, the is, earth flat. is flat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to which I am proud to say that other people began trolling him this is true. on I, our we, comment thread. We uh, spurred quite <laughs> the uh, discussion. Yeah. Uh, then asked him uh, if this is such a big thing to make money, why doesn't he try to go get sponsors? Because I would like to believe that there's a few maybe small to medium-sized companies where the owner or whoever's in charge is actually a flat-earth believer. Hell, maybe the company that made his actuator. You know? who Sponsor him. Who knows? Promote your shit. (laughs) But no, no, his idea is just to, you know, charge $5 on his pay-per-view fucking live feed. So I don't know how legit this guy's plan is i don't think it is <sighs> i don't and mike i challenge you bro if you're listening let's set something up we got to get a phone call or something something yeah let's we're, we're we've been promoting you pretty much <laughs> we ain't get paid shit for this so <laughs> <laughs> i mean come on dude he also uh made claims of revolutionizing nascar i, yeah, I remember that yeah he did so i was i was curious right i never knew that aspect of you know his life of a limo driver and cat <laughs> owner Professional limo driver, Professional. be respectful. <laughs> my, my humblest apologies, Mike. Anyway, so I asked him, you know, well, what did you revolutionize in that sport? And uh, he claims that he was the first one to come up with a carbon fiber air filter holder. Um, he was also the one who first put vinyl on a race car instead of paint. So I, I looked it up because I was curious. And you can't find anything with his name associated really to NASCAR on the Internet. So either he's lying. Well, he posted a picture of the Winston Cup Quarterly or some magazine where it had a three-page thing about him really, somebody else. But everything okay. I found on the Internet was another guy that they keep referring to. So they credit somebody else for what he's claiming <clears throat> yeah, the, to have. The Internet says another guy's name who says like he's the top of the field, been doing it from the beginning, this and that. Right. And I can't find anything about my mic. I'm not saying he didn't or he wasn't in on it, but... NASCAR doesn't really acknowledge that. Right. But he's making claims. <clears throat> he's making and he's Matt, like, he I got also, a magazine. <laughs> yeah, he's also telling us in this comment thread that there's a documentary being made about, about him. him. Yes. Coming out in August that you can buy that will help further his funds for the launch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I might not pay the five bucks for the noise TV to watch him not launch his rocket. Yeah. But I might buy the documentary. Yeah. I might. If he hired his own crew, do you remember the movie with um, Ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston, and uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman? Um, along came Polly. Polly. I sharded. When yeah, when he hired his <laughs> own like uh, behind the music crew, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Kevin Hart might actually been one of the the dudes Ooh. in the movie. Um, 
I'd have to go back. The crew. Yeah. But that's what this reminds me of. Like, Mad Mike hired his own crew to come in and film a documentary. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody really wanted to know the story. No, not at all. He wants to tell it. 1997. <laughs> I purchased my first used limo to start the career. <laughs> I've been whipping around corners ever since. Had a sweet flame job I put on there personally. <laughs> Wonder what his limo was called. Cat's Eye? Like, um, I don't know. Something stupid. I'm sure if he named the rocket Flat Earth, like maybe was he a flat earther back when he was driving a limo? That's a good question. You know, with round when, tires. When did he get into this flat earth <laughs> business? Is it just for kicks? Is it you know, something just to stay like, relevant? Ah, or? these guys would give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Somebody pointed out, like, when he t- commented to you mm-hmm. that this launch wasn't to prove the Earth is flat, it's just to raise money for future yeah. launches, somebody was like, I'm sure all your flat Earth supporters are going to be really happy to hear <laughs> that hear you just that. admitted that this it's, wasn't, you yeah. know. And I think he was just caught in the middle of... To be To be honest, I'm still getting likes. On, are you really for those comments? <laughs> that was awesome. like earlier last week. It that was, was like it Monday was or ago. Tuesday of last week, and people were like, "Yep, <laughs> I like it." And hopefully, if any of you guys listening, oh yeah, in California, because we know there's a bunch of you now. You guys are I, actually a big population of our. Uh, you're listeners. a big part of our listening base. Yeah, we appreciate you. I don't know where the hell you found us, but I'm curious to find out mm-hmm. if it was. Do you know us, or do you know? Like, is it just? iTunes or one of the podcast apps or how'd you how'd you find us or maybe you're friends with Mad Mike yeah and if you happen to know Mad Mike if anybody out there or if Mad Mike is listening I think he is I'd like to believe <laughs> I think he would comment a bit more if he were me too <laughs> but if you happen to know him you know share the link <laughs> but hey tell him that we've been talking about him we for would six like to months. interview him even if it's in like an email interview or something just yeah, 20 questions just, man come on I know. Just I don't know how we'll do it, but I'm curious for all flat earthers out there. Like, is Earth the only like planet that's flat, or is all of them? Like, I'm curious. Is the whole like solar system just flat pancakes? Just like a table. Yeah. Where? Just little discs floating out there. <laughs> Who knows? It's not even a question I could take seriously. <laughs> you know. That's true. Like you could ask me anything and i would be like more into the question than our planet's flat i you just know. it's it's mind numbing to me so what happens if we get hit by a decent sized asteroid would it start like flipping around like a penny if it hit the edge you know just <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> if it teeter tottered stuff starts. and then it flips upside down and then we're in an ice age or something we're just because the sun will never hit us right yeah. we're just who knows now we're the dark side of the disc there we go <laughs> that's awesome el plateau has flipped oh my god or what if this the asteroid just punched a hole right through, right through us, it, yeah. and then everything just Sucked funneled in. in, lose all our water? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so stupid. It is. It's so stupid. Yeah, I do. Uh, we've referenced one of the people I work with. You used to work with. Yes, he's a fellow driver. Mm-hmm. He knows a guy who used to work where we where I work. Mm-hmm. He used to be. He may or may not be a flat Earth believer. He's not saying he is. He he won't. I don't know if he'll admit that he's thinking about it, but he has posed he's a couple of questions. He's definitely probing the. Uh, <laughs> I might have to get him in here. I we might have to pick his brain. Because even if his, he's like on the edge of like, yeah, it could be. Right. I'm curious. What are your thoughts on this? Mm-hmm. As with any listener out there, if you're like, that's such a stupid fucking idea. If you want to give us a post. Something. Yeah. We might make a post asking you guys. You can comment on it. Don't be afraid. At the rate we're at, we might be the last two round earth believers. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Stuff spreading. You ever watch the videos on YouTube of the people trying to justify why? I saw the one of the kid dumping water on an orange and then dumping it on a plate, <laughs> and that was his proof. But other than that, I haven't watched any. <clears throat> and that one was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, they're pretty rough. I I, I don't even know. It's, like I said, I don't even know what to say. I'm afraid if I was in the company of a flat earther, mm-hmm. I would just be at a loss of words. I wouldn't even know what to ask, you know, cuz I'm like, start, just like yeah. yeah, is this going to be worth it? it how, Are you going to actually explain? be like intellectual on this and like yeah, articulate your arguments well? 
I'm like, the earth is flat, man, because I took a bong rip one time and I had this thought that the earth was flat. You know? That's not... You, As it blew the stupid. smoke out, I could tell. <laughs> like, you could tell what? <laughs> yeah. It was flat, man. Man, you're just trying to, like, propose a government... Th- yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to go to that. Okay. Like, we I'll, will How get... many scientists out there? Legitimate, like, I have a doctorate in you know, physics or whatever. They're like, yeah, I believe that the earth is flat. Yeah. You Good luck with that, Flat yeah. Earther. <laughs> Mad Mike Hughes is your torch. Follow him mm-hmm. right off the edge. <laughs> Lemmings. There's a few uh, stories in the news about lemmings, but it's just too deep a shit. I don't yeah. want to get into that. It's St. Patty's Day. not the road we want to stumble down tonight. <clears throat> nah. In, in honor of Ron Jeremy, I'd like to keep it lighthearted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because he kept it extremely lighthearted last night, so uh. I wonder where he's off to next. I should have asked him. It's probably a website. <laughs> Ron Jeremy on tour dot com. I'm kind of afraid of what that website would look like. <laughs> I will say, uh, coming back to the Token Lounge, the place that's here locally for us. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when I was in a band many moons ago. We used to play shows there, and the same guy owns the joint that owned it back then, and he uh, he wrote and shot a movie, <laughs> and it, he told me last night it took him nine years to do, like from really? start to finish, getting the equipment, learning how to use it, shooting, editing, reshoots, you know, script, all script, that. all that, writing all of it, yeah. So I bought a copy of the DVD last night, and I'm going to make that my new homework assignment, <laughs> because obviously I haven't seen it. <laughs> But I remember going and auditioning for his movie at the Token Lounge. Was there a specific part you were auditioning for? Yeah, he had uh, four chairs set up, and the scene was uh, we were, we were going to be extras in the car. <laughs> so you're driving, right? No, he had somebody else reading mm-hmm. the script that he wrote in the driver's seat, and then me and two other people were just kind of... Reacting? Yeah, just react to it, kind of ad-lib the, the scene. And I just remember, really, I think I was 19, you know. Mm. Nah, I knew for sure I wasn't getting picked. <laughs> the guys I went with could have got it, you had know. A shot at or the, the, my girlfriend at the time, she could have had a shot. But there was no way I was getting picked because I was just like, this is too weird. Because it was a whole room full of people watching me, you know. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't do this. There's too many people watching me and I can't be spontaneous like that. Now, if I were to do it now, I think I'd be way better at it. Yeah. But back then, mm-mm. But I was just so happy to see that he actually made the movie. You know, I'm so excited to watch it. But uh, the reason I'm telling this story is, <clears throat> long story, is that uh, we had played a show there like three weeks before this when he first got his camera equipment, and uh, he didn't know how to use it. So he approached us after the show and was like, hey, I really dig your band. I'd like to shoot a music video, and I'd like for you guys to be the band in the video so I can get some practice, and you guys get a free video shoot. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, who turns that down, right? I mean, 19-year-old kids, we're going to take every advantage we can to promote our band. Oh, yeah. So we shot the video. It was like four hours. That ain't bad. We had a bunch of friends show up to fill the bar, you know, just for the certain shots. And the idea was is that he was going to use the footage and we were going to be the band in the bar scene in the movie. Oh. Because that's where he was in writing. Yeah. And he was going to, you know, kind of tie it all together. So we were really jazzed up about it. Well, none of that happened. No. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. I haven't seen the movie yet. I what guess. if you watch the movie and you're in the movie? I, I think he would have told me last night because I was talking to him when I bought the DVD. That is true. And yeah. I brought up the footage of the music video to him, and he said he would. He still had it, on, uh, to his knowledge, because apparently he's a bit of a hoarder when it comes to <laughs> stuff that that's he records. Tough, so, And that's great. You want to oh, yeah. keep it all. So I have to call him this week coming up, see if, uh, if he remembers A. <laughs> but... <laughs> If we can get some of that footage, we'll have to figure out a way to, to post it up on the internet so everybody can see. should be pretty funny. That'd be cool. 20 years ago, you know. If I'm not mistaken, I had my my yellow afro at the time, too, so that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> and um, Corner House Chronicle t-shirts are coming. And stickers. Indeed. So if you're interested, we'll be having those up pretty soon. For You'll be purchase. able to help out. Yep. We are going to come up with an idea. For a few lucky winners out there, so we can uh, get one for free. Maybe some uh, stickers for sure. Shirts. We're gonna try to figure out how many we're gonna 
either raffle off, not raffle, but like have a competition or something. Yeah. Some kind of uh, you got to do something to enter the contest. Mm. And then we'll pick a winner. But yeah, we're excited about this. You are too. I know you, you might are. win a t shirt. You might buy a t shirt. Who knows? Maybe our next bracket, if we get a little more interaction before the bracket starts, somebody picks a winner. Oh, yeah. You can win something there. That'd be cool. I know a lot of them sell stuff, but yeah. giving no away sponsor. stuff, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that works. We don't have sponsors yet. We're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> Officially. Officially. We kind of sponsored by Mad Mike Hughes at this point. <laughs> as much as we talk about his ass, or do we sponsor him? I know, right? Yeah, it could we be should that send way. him a sticker to put on the rocket. That's a fantastic idea. It's the only kind of ideas I have, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? We need Mad Mike Hughes's address. We need your PO box. We got to do something, <laughs> dude. We're gonna send you a sticker, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he probably has a P.O. box. <laughs> oh, if man. we send you a sticker, because I think you're listening, if we send you a sticker, will you put it on your rocket before you launch? I will say this. It, we you can try to contact him mm-hmm. about that, but I think as the show, officially, we should uh, send out a greeting message. Like a care package almost? <laughs> Well, a couple stickers and a shirt and yeah, a message. <laughs> Wear the shirt under your uh, flight suit there, Ace. Now, if he does that, will you believe the Earth is flat? What if he puts <laughs> a fucking sticker on his rocket? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's probably going to shoot a live Facebook video of him burning our shit that we sent him because he listens. And we. <laughs> I'd be kind of disappointed if he did that, but yeah. I would like to at least see if we can get a sticker on that rocket. That'd be sweet. If we get a sticker... We'll make history, folks. 1,500 feet in the air. <laughs> 18. Oh, 18. I'm 18 sorry. is the goal. 18 is the goal. Well... He's already done 13 and some change. Thank you very much. All right. So we'll split the difference and call it 15. It's shit. If it gets if off it the ground. If it goes off the ground. I think right now it's only like three feet off the ground because right. it's on the stand. <laughs> so he's got about, what, uh, 1797 to go? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bee. Oh, math. But no, I think we should uh, definitely look into seeing what it would uh, take to get a Corner House Chronicle sticker on that bad machine. Well, step one's just going to be hitting them up on the old Facebook. It's true. Hey, Mike, if we send you a sticker, will you put it on your rocket <clears throat> right under the actuator or something? I don't know. Wherever you want. Put it on the tail fin or you something. Know, put it on the nose. Fuck it. Let's do it. Right on the... So we're the first part. <laughs> <laughs> we're the first part that hits the ground. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with that. So here it comes, Mike. Heads up. You'll be getting a Facebook messenger. Yeah. Check that post office box. <laughs> well, this has been a fun evening. I've enjoyed it. This is like the perfect cap to the weekend. Between last night with Ron Jeremy and the whole bit. <clears throat> and then tonight, St. Patrick's Day. and we not, Neither one of us got arrested. This is true. We didn't get into a fight. Not yet, anyways. Yeah, there's still some time left. <laughs> By the time you people hear this... Things may have changed, yeah. but as we'll of update right you now, in yeah, <laughs> we're good to go. We are excited about our moving forward with our comedy movie brackets. Yes, we very uh, excited. We encourage you to please get involved with it if you'd like. Vote, yeah. Let's, get your friends to vote. Let's I, get this. I want to know out of the sixty-four that we chose randomly, who is the champion? Yeah, I uh. I got my pick. I got my pick too. <clears throat> I don't know how far it's going to go now after I know. watching a few of the uh, some of the upsets conclusions already. of the bracket. But and they're only upsets to us. <laughs> As everybody <laughs> voting for them is like, yeah, it's a funnier movie. Oh no. So we encourage you to vote. Check it out. Facebook. I know you got it. Everyone. Well, not everyone. Damn near eighty percent of you do. Damn near everyone. For now, anyways. For now. Till the next new, you know, till MySpace comes back. Again. I guess. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, actually. Uh, what else? Play along on Instagram. Oh, yeah. We're on Instagram at uh, chc underscore podcast. We do some cool hashtags. We we're, do. We're going to start using the hashtag hashtag just because. I'm a big fan of that hashtag. <laughs> pound sign hashtag. Yeah. <clears throat> hashtag pound sign. 
other than that, we would just like to thank you again for listening, for checking us out, for supporting us just by listening. Oh, yeah. Always a pleasure to have you guys. Yeah. This is fun. We, uh, We're enjoying it. <laughs> right. We uh, thank you to Shorts Brew for Uncle Steve's traditional Irish stout. Very smooth, very uh, refreshing product. Yeah, man. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's good to be green. Hope you guys had a great time. Another week in the books, man. Spring's right here. That's right. That's good shit. Looking forward to that. Mad Mike Hughes. Hopefully uh, you got a sticker on the way there, buddy. Just let that that bitch on your uh, steam-powered rocket and blast (laughs) us off into space with you, huh? We'd appreciate that. Uh... (laughs) To our uh, fans around the globe, I say around, not across the flat earth. Right. <laughs> like the uh, folks out in Ireland, we thank you for tuning in. Yeah. It's good yeah. to see you. Good That's to have awesome. You. We got a bunch of people in Ireland listening, uh-huh. or one person listening over and over We got again. a few. But either way. Yeah. We don't discriminate. Happy St. Patrick's Day, especially to you people in Ireland. I'm curious. Do you guys celebrate? I actually had a somebody posted a video on Facebook that I saw earlier today. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a live shot from Dublin. And it looked like I was downtown Detroit. It was a bunch of people moving around on foot, drinking beer with each other. A bunch of green, you know. Nothing wrong with that. No. I would hope they'd have some fireworks or something, you know, to celebrate. It's kind of their holiday. But, True. You know, as America does, we tend to just kind oh, of yeah. take, take advantage it of it. And, we turn that fucker up to 11. Yeah, right. So, episode 17. It's been fun. We'll see you on 18. We will see you on 18. Have fun with it, folks. Yeah, why not? We are.